In today's video, we are going to figure out how you can make your videos from this to this using a cool effect on Premiere Pro that make your videos more cinematic. <laughs> Hi guys, Ifran here from Plexi. Over the past few weeks, I've been experimenting with videography and the different ways to achieve a cinematic look on my final product. This includes trying to figure out the most efficient workflow, which is important, especially when working in a fast-paced environment. Today, I'm going to go through my thought process and my post-editing process. So first off, I constrain myself to a theme, which is documenting what a typical Sunday afternoon looks like in Singapore. For gears, I'm using the Sony A74 together with the Sigma 24-70mm f2.8. Mainly what I look for when shooting is my framing, rule of thirds, colours, lighting, and my subject. For this first and second shot, what I did was framing the cityscape in between the trees. My reason for this was to have the contrast between nature and man-made stuff. In this third shot, the main thing that I wanted to capture was the cyclist cycling up Mount Faber Park. In the fourth one, I framed my subject in between the two tree trunks. And I feel that the cyclist cycling on the road gives that nice leading shot in the whole frame. In this next shot, it was mainly just to capture this nice vintage car. What captured my eye was the colours and the whole vibe of the car. Next one is similar to one of the shots taken before, framing my subject, in this case the couple, in between two tree trunks. And the cat walking into the frame was just a bonus to me. I wanted some depth in between the foreground and background. So what I did was I framed the bushes in the foreground and have it blurred out. For this shot, the bonus factor to me was the sun glaring at the top left hand corner. On top of that, I framed my subject right in the middle of the shot. In this second last shot, what I did was apply the rule of thirds. I framed my subject one third of the frame, giving some breathing space on the left. And finally, for this last shot, it was more of an establishing shot. The lighting was perfect, picking out right in between the buildings in the background. And to me, it was a nice shot to end off the video. Now let's look at the final cut that I made for the video. jumping into Premiere Pro. First off, what I would do when color grading is refining each and every clips, lighting, colors, and etc. Afterwards, I will apply a light called Phantom LUTs, which I will link it down below in the description. After applying the light, I will re-refine each and every clip just to make sure it's perfect. Play around with the curves and make sure nothing is overexposed or underexposed. For this kind of afternoon cinematic shots, what you want to do is have that warm feel. So bump up that temperature. And finally, I will also add in some halation and faded film effect. And this is how you do it. What you want to do is go to effects and look up channel blur. Afterwards, increase the rate blurriness in between 10 to 30, up to your preference. Next, go to blend mode and make sure it is enlightened. For faded film, go under lumetri color and creative. Scroll down till you find faded film. I like it in between 30 and 50. And here's the final outcome. Comment down below what other videos you would want to see. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you in the next one.